changing stuff guys some stuff that really as a teacher i never addressed it with my students i never talked about linear uh income and never taught use these expressions um as we talked about in, in yeah, on all different levels um so let's talk about linear versus what's the other leveraged. leveraged income so how many of you grew up where you know you when you were going to school and you knew what you wanted to be, drop in the comments if you know knew when you were a kid what you wanted to be and tell us what it was. Um, and there are so many things I thought that I was going to be something totally different than a teacher. Um, and it ended up happening differently. And that's okay. But we were trained to go to school. We were trained to uh, learn a trade to go to a four-year college, to pursue that higher education, to do the do, to walk through all the hoops. But we kind of, a lot of us got in that. Did you know that there's a different way? I so wish that we had taught um, our students about leveraged income. Um, and I understand that a lot of universities are beginning to implement this in their coursework, which is absolutely phenomenal because everybody needs more than one stream of income. How many of you out there have worked more than one job in your life? I can reflect on times where I've worked four jobs at one time. Me too. You know, we do what we yeah. have. Tell moms, don't we, Nicole? Yeah, four jobs at one time. What were some of those jobs, Nicole? Uh, I opened a gym at 5.30 in the morning. Uh, I was a waitress at Hooters. I was a trainer for them, so I traveled with them. I also was a bartender when I wasn't working the day shift mm -hmm. uh, at a different, at a club. And I was a beer tub girl downtown on Clematis at a bar, at a nightclub. So, and those are crazy hours. I was exhausted all the time. But I made good money. <laughs> and you and you were trying to do all this because you had so many goals. I mean, you had uh, two kids that you were trying to fund and fuel with their. Um, no, I was, a, I was a single mom. Okay, and you were trying to mama. stop all these lessons. I um, you had a daughter that had really expensive lessons that you were traveling back and forth and taking her back and forth to these things. And I know that that was a really huge expense. Yeah. So a lot of us try to fill in the gaps with doing something extra. Um, tell us what some of those extra things that you've done. Nicole has done some extra things I've done. Um, I've had multiple different businesses on the side, done tons of tutoring, and I found that, you know, there's a different way. There's a different way to supplement our incomes to start with making sure that we have the monies that we need to pay off the debt to um, to fund the retirement account that may not have been funded when we were young. Um, so this is for people our age as well as people that are younger. Guys, if you are, you know, looking for that, you're stuck at home, you're not knowing what you, you may have lost your job um, over this past year or recently. What in the world are we talking about, Nicole? What is well, income? Yeah. So for me, um, you know, I started wanting to get another job to offset figure skating. Um, it was a huge financial issue in our household uh, because my daughter needed more lessons. She needed ballet. She needed off ice training. She needed the Saturday run class. I mean, it was just crazy. Everything, you know, ice time, coaching time, competition time, travel to all that stuff. It costs money. And so I was like, OK, I need a job. But my daughter's rink was an hour away. So I started thinking, wait, I don't want to go to a job that I have to be there for eight hours. When what if she doesn't have skating that day? What if we're off a day? I don't want to have to drive to my job, you mm -hmm. know? And so I started thinking like, wait, I want to be able to travel with her. I don't want to have to go to a job where I have to punch a clock and I get paid linear income 
which is every hour and minute I work, I get paid for that. Like I punch the clock, I work eight hours, and then I punch the clock again and I go home. I started thinking, wait a minute, I want to be able to work, but also travel with her and, um, you know, be at her competitions. I want to be there for her. So I started like thinking like, wait, I, what am I going to do? And then this is where leverage comes in because, mm -hmm. and this is really something that I feel since COVID happened, this is a must for all households. I mean, it totally validated for me that this type of industry is a must. It is a must to have because what just happened to all of us around the world in 2020. So leverage income is the best way I feel to explain it is, think of the Hilton Hotel. It was built one time, but over and over they get paid on each of those rooms. Your cell phone that you bought one time, but you constantly are paying into that cell phone company um, for the services. Well, that is leverage income and it's something that we have this opportunity and we are super fortunate to have it because we share our product with people and they love it. And then now they're a customer and now every month they are getting their products delivered to their door for, you know, for like $14 shipping. They don't have to go to a store, wait in line, wear a mask and all of that stuff. And so because we are helping somebody, we have a service, they are paying for our service every single month. And that is building leverage income for all of us. Right. So in that first quadrant, you have that job. And so you're trading your time for your money. And so that you're the employee. If you are the business owner, you are, you have the business, you have all that overhead. You have all that physical expense of getting started, of having, making sure that everything's in stock, that you, all the employees that go with it. And so you're still working with you're leveraging to some degree here but you are trading people and money here um mm -hmm. and so there's an a, a and that's like a one percent one percent um to a hundred of income so you the ratio there gets tough um and you you own the system and the people work for you and in that next quadrant you have a job um, and you own the job and you don't have leverage. Um, and so the, the job is telling you when you have to show up. They're telling you how much you work. The job, the job just over broke. Okay. Yeah. The job, the J-O-B is telling you because they own you. They own, That's right. And who wants to be told no matter how much education you have, you don't want to be told that you're worth X amount of money and you probably are putting in more hours than what you are on the job for um, whether that's at the beginning or at the end and trying to prepare for whatever um, whatever job you have and Nicole what are some of these when you have Pat are creating a passive income Tell, let's talk let's talk about this opportunity that we have that we've grabbed a hold of that is um, creating and creates passive income. What in the world is that? Well, I was just going to say this too. You know, as a single mom, I wish this was around when I was younger and my kids were younger. Like, because when you are paying into, you know, your linear income and you're going to work and you are getting paid hourly, if you don't work, you don't get paid. So I was a single mom and here I am, my son got the chicken pox and he couldn't go to daycare. I had to miss work in order to take care of my son. And that was like a week and a half, two weeks. Nicole, and I had it back to back. Yeah. It was a whole month that they were, I was fortunate though. I had my mom 
that was able to help me. And so we would kind of tag team them, but still a whole month. Yeah. So can you imagine like being a single mom, you don't have that help. I couldn't go to work for two weeks and I didn't get paid no. to sit home and take care of my son. And then if you add the price of the cost of daycare nowadays, the cost of daycare, there was no subsidized daycare when I was a single mom. And so the price of daycare is honestly eats up what you're making hourly. It's insane. It's so crazy. So, you know, when it comes to leverage income, even if it's, you know, not your full time, it's still so, it's so smart to even start building it on the side, you know, on the weekends or when your kid's watching a movie, like plug in and start learning about leverage income. And I know that both of us, you know, with this thing right here, we started doing it in the nooks and crannies of our day. And um, we take, we leverage our time. Um, and we're not trading so much our time um, because we're controlling our time and how much time we spend in it. And because we have, have, ma have mastered these skills of mastering our calendar. So if we have a product, guys, that has absolutely changed both of our lives. And that product has given us the opportunity that we want to share with you because um, right now our company is our company has always been out debt free. Our company has no overhead overhead because there is the opportunity for you to get in with zero cost, zero inventory, zero um, that you have to have in your home. Uh, you don't have to go out and everything is shipped. It's all cloud-based. We don't have to pay, Nicole. How cool is this? All the training that we get on such the high level of training um, that we have on a weekly basis blows my mind. Oh, yeah. I mean, we have, we have insane top dog training. We have like high-end coaching, you know, and it's amazing because – you know, for me as a mom, like I, I never thought I could do something like this, nor did I want to do anything like sales. You know, I didn't want to do anything like that. But when I saw what the product did for me, I knew that I could not be quiet about this because I see how people eat. And I'm not I'm the average girl that juices and, eat or, and eats organic. That's what everybody does, right? Everyone's a juicer and they all eat organic, right? That's the form. No, in my bubble, that's what it was. So, you know, I was like, wait, if my body needed this, like, what about the people that don't eat like me, you know? And so that right there right there in itself just knowing that i have a bag of gold i have gold i have something that's going to save someone's life a mom like that was my mission like moms out there because i remember how i was wishing i had something like this back then but um just to see the other side of this the opportunity to build leverage income for your family to be able to have the freedom to know like, oh, wow, I just helped Susie Q um, order today. She's gonna be so happy with it. Now she's been on it two weeks and loving it. And she's like, oh, my neighbor wants to try it and then my sister. And now I'm helping her earn it free because now she's got these two referrals and they're loving it. And so every single month now I've helped this one person who now is like on fire for it and she's running with it. And so I'm leveraging. Y'all, this that's because a customer can get their products for free, and that's on top. I mean, that's you don't have to have a new person come up board and do this with you. It could be your mom and your and your spouse. It could be your mom and your best friend. Um, it it could be family because you they are going to see you being able to be engaged to be able to take that extra vacation to have maybe that extra opportunity to go and take your kids to that special place that they wanted to go whether it's build a bear whether it's to the beach whether it's uh, wh whatever it is whether it's that extra sporting event that they want to go to or maybe some training that they want to get it gives you the opportunity and you know if that's what what, what you're looking for 
it's there. Don't be the person that looks back at the end of this opportunity, at the end of spring and goes, you know what? I could have hopped on this and I could have put and changed the whole trajectory of my family finances. I could have. Mm -hmm. I have, and I have people on my team that literally are promoting this. They're using this leverage income for family vacations. They're using this leverage income to sock away for their child's college. They're using this leverage income to um, save up to buy a house. They're using this leverage income to help their husband out who's starting a business. You know, it's, you know, it's, I feel like it's such um, a no brainer when it comes to your finances. Like, I, you know, and I don't remember who it was that said this, you know, which financial guru said this, but they talked about a bathtub and that you have the one faucet that's filling in the tub and you have this drain, right? And think of the drain has all these little holes. All those little holes are all your debt. It's your bills. And so how do you fill up the tub faster? Because the water coming out is the money and the drain with all the holes is your debt and all your bills. You start filling up the bathtub a lot faster if you put more faucets, more faucets on the bathtub to fill it up. So why not have another stream of income? I mean, personally, my goal is to have three streams of income. So why not? The more faucets, the faster your tub fills up. That's right. And those four quadrants we were talking about, they come from the book that that, that we have um, somewhat studied with our team. And I believe the guy, the man's name, his last name is Kawasaki. Yeah. Um, there was another person that, that we were discussing. And what was his name? There was a book that, that we had discussed earlier. Um, and that principle of linear and um, leveraged. leveraged income, you were, you were using some quotes from him. So then it must, was it, uh, I can't remember his name. I've read so many and I've, I've listened to so many of these financial guys. I mean, it's awesome. You know, rich dad, poor dad. Mm -hmm. I think that's who we're talking about. Okay. So, you know, there's so many opportunities there that we want you, if you were at the least bit, um, have an interest sparked here, we would like to invite you to come aboard and just take a peek. We would like to invite you to take a peek at some some back some back um, scenes of what's going on with our team. We have an incredible heart centered leadership um, that we just absolutely both of us just really enjoy. Um, Nicole and I have really grown um, with our mindset. Um, we have uh, learned so much about um, you know the books where all we, we always have something in our ears what you know whether we're working out or whether we're, we're meeting we have so many opportunities for you to meet with our team someone even if we're not available someone else is on our team is and so we yeah. cover each other's backs um and that is the the beauty of this is that we even if nicole and i are sidelines but we help each other out um and that's the beauty of it is that we are together working to help other people grow because it's the personal growth and development that we can share with others. Um, so Nicole, which, what is your daughter thinking about all of this? Well, she's 18 and I told her, I said, you know, three streams of income, baby girl. I said, you start now building leverage income for yourself. By the time you're 25, you'll be sitting very pretty. So, I mean, she knows that, um, you know, I think she's kind of starting to learn it. She's sitting for her real estate exam for the state of Florida. So I told her, I'm like, that's going to be one stream of income for you. And there's time freedom there because you can set your own hours, right? right. She's also, um, she can be a figure skating coach, which you're setting your own hours again. And you're building, you know, some streams of another stream of income. And I said, then you can add Lavelle here. I said, because that goes in with your figure skating, you know, it's health and wellness for your students, for the parents. And you could build a leverage stream of income where now it's just growing. It's growing and it's growing. It's not where you're working and then that's all you get paid for. It's growing. So 
We will see. I really hope. I mean, Los Cabos is, I wanted her to be able to like be around all the, on, on, you know, all the entrepreneurs, I can't even talk, all the entrepreneurs. So she can get a feel of it and the vibe because it's truly an amazing experience to be around all of us, you know, it's exciting. It is. And that's going to be an amazing trip. Um, and I'm going to not go on this one. <laughs> I'm going to I just have too many other things happening. Um, and, you know, sometimes we, we make that those choices, but that's OK. Um, it'll be another opportunity. And that's another really cool thing is that we have these uh, three getaways each year that we can earn. Um, and they are all inclusive trips and they're beautiful and fun. And um, the next one is going to be absolutely amazing. And, and hopefully things will have cleared out a little bit and, and enable me to go. So, you know, make your choice, guys. Reach out to us. Um, I'm going to check really fast, Nicole, and see if there's any comments we need to attend to, see if okay. there's any questions. Uh, do you see anything on your side that we need to, to uh, answer anybody's questions there? Guys, um, be smart. Be smart while you can. If you're young and you're looking at this and you need an opportunity, we're here for you if you are um looking for a second uh, for his plan b and you haven't really planned enough this is a great opportunity guys we um have a wonderful opportunity here guys you guys have an awesome afternoon and ask us your questions if you're catching us on replay let us know thanks bye